Wet. Welcome to Indonesia, Jogjakarta, or short, Jogja. Let's go. Welcome to one of the old markets in Jogja, in Jogjakarta. Um, I just took my first Gojek over here. Gojek is like the coolest thing ever. It's like a motor, scooter, Uber. You order it with an app, but it's not a car, it's a scooter. Now I'm waiting for Foxy. She's also German, she's from Berlin. I met her in a hostel and we're gonna hit the market. because we're gonna go see the sunrise over the famous Borobudur temple and it's raining right now we're waiting for the shuttle bus to pick us up we just got up after three hours of sleep I'm having a little breakfast and then we're gonna go I'm so tired good morning guys it is currently 4.45 in the morning and I am somewhere, <laughs> I don't know where I am. I am at the Borobudur temple. I've just been dropped off by my guide. They gave me a little torch. And now you need to kind of walk in pitch black up to the temple so that you get there before sunrise. Creepy? Kind of creepy, yeah. That better be a freaking good sunrise. Whoa. So there's the temple behind me, so I'm slowly heading up to the top. This is the biggest Buddhist temple in the world. And I'm creeping around here at 5 in the morning when it's still pitch black. How cool is that? So cool. So I made it to the top and now we wait, all wait for the sunrise. One of the guards just made me jump massively. I love rain season. It constantly makes fun of you. As soon as you take off your jacket, it starts raining again. What's up, guys? Good afternoon. Good at boy. That was the palm tree almost poking me, poking me in the eye. Ah, uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Good afternoon. I just had a two and a half hour afternoon nap after our trip to the Borumbudur temple this morning. Where we got up at 3 a.m. So really tired. Sounds so cool though. For the rest of the afternoon, I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna do some online courses, read lots of stuff, work on my own skill set, learn new things, and then have some food later. I think that's the deal for today. So yeah, see you tomorrow for new adventures. By the way, this is my amazing hostel right now. This is the entrance, the garden, the 
usual the shoes. It's a bit of a restaurant. And then it's the big comfy chill zone, you know. It's a nice little garden. Yeah, people working. This is my little work spot. Still love that. Now I just have a bit of a coffee. This is all I have Saturdays. Hello! No. <laughs> So Saturday afternoon, next temple, temple time. Uh, we're at what's it called? Pramanan. 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 First, we're gonna check out some other smaller temples, and then we go to the big one for the sunset. So we're currently exploring the hidden. No, it's not the hidden temples, but there's two extra temples on the grounds of Pramanan Temple. We're pretending that it's not raining. Just a tiny bit. This is a Hindu temple, whilst the Borobudur, where I went to two days ago, that was a Buddhist temple. This one is a Hindu temple. Not the biggest in the world, I think, but one of the biggest. It's raining a bit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Miss. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so, that's it with the sunset. No sunset. <laughs> How about rain instead? A lot of rain. Like rain season rain. <laughs> oh shit. That's it. There's no no sunset. We're leaving the place now. It's just way too wet. No sunset. No sunset. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Which basically means we're famous because that's how we felt today after all these all these <laughs> pictures. Kamu derkanal. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Hello lovely YouTube world. Uh, welcome to my Tuesday morning in Jakarta. It's just six in the morning and I'm off to Probolingo. So I'm off to uh, Mount Bromo to the volcano Bromo, uh, which is a half a ride. It's like nine hours train ride. Nine hours train ride, one hour minibus. This is the train. I hope it stays that empty so that I have some space because um, this is not made for European. Look at this. It's supposed to fit four people. I mean, four people, yes. The seats are big enough, but four pairs of knees. I mean, look at this. There's literally not a chance of the possibility that someone will sit in front of me. Not gonna work. And this for nine hours. Nine hours. So please, fingers crossed that I have some space. I'll keep you updated. Hey guys. Getting to my tiredness limits right now. I just arrived. Um, I even can't remember the name of the place. It's uh, at the Mount Bromo, at the volcano. Um, I just arrived after um, 15 hours door to door. It's 9 p.m. The next hike to the sunrise viewpoint starts at 3.30 in the morning. So I have roughly 
five-ish hours sleep to get. And yeah, I need that. Up here, they just have very, 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 very basic rooms. So it feels like a prison cell. Um, I'm not complaining about this because I'm just gonna stay for five hours. So um, yeah, look at that. My deluxe room for 15 euros. <laughs> No, I'm fine. It's just for five hours of sleep that I desperately need. Um, and then I go walk and see the sunrise in a crater and then I come back and check out. So, yeah, I made it to promo. I made it. Um, see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>